welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nakia, and today I'm gonna to take you through a day in the life of a data analyst. I wanna kind of explain a little bit more of what I'm doing throughout the day, so I figured I'd take you through it. If you aren't aware of what a data analyst does, I pretty much I analyze data. My role is specific to performance management. I pretty much manage the performance of specific products and services that my company launches, as well as we do some employee performance management. So what that entails is that I actually go through and pull data. I use SQL, ThoughtSpot, all the tools that we use in data analytics to kind of just pull back data and analyze the results and present that information back to our members of leadership. So I just, I started work about an hour ago. So I start at seven, it's 8 a.m. now. I've gone through the emails that have come through over the weekend, and I'm gonna go through reviewing some of the reports that have been sent out by other teams that has to do with um, the performance of like certain products and services, especially with it being January, we have a lot of initiatives in which we are trying to like have a strong first quarter. So I need to look over those reports first to check and see how we've done over the past couple of days because it was a long weekend yesterday was MLK day so we had the day off so I want to check and see how the performance has been over the weekend for those initiatives that we have um, that launched for first quarter so I'm going to do that um, for a little bit and then at 10 a.m. I have a team meeting and I have another meeting at 12 but I think that's going to more than likely be canceled because so many people um, took today off as well so it's not a lot of people in the office on my team so I don't think we'll need our 12 o'clock meeting for today but those are just the two meetings that I have between that time I'll be looking into some other things like now, um, after I go through some of the reports that were sent out over the weekend, I need to go and look at um, one of the files that I was working on Friday, where I'm trying to get year-end performance together for a specific group of employees trying to do, it's pretty much an audit, like you're auditing their performance results to make sure everything matches, everything's in line. But I, we were having a problem, myself and a coworker that's working on this as well, we were having a problem getting results to load for um, all of the employees and um, we're working out of an Excel file and this Excel file has the person that created this this specific um, Excel file has it password protected so I can't go in and check their formulas and try to correct the error so I just need to note all the employees where I'm not getting the accurate information like accurate results and send that to them so they can go in the file and check and see what's going on make that correction for us so that's going to be like my morning so i'm gonna get into this and i will check back with you guys <laughs> a lot of employees that 
I, I don't know what's going on, but I believe these people may not be employed with us anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a query and run it in Toad. Toad is a, um, it's like a database management system, I would say. Um, some others is like Microsoft SQL Server, um, as well as Teradata. And we use that to write like our queries to check the databases as to like what info, like to get data back pretty much. So I'm gonna write a small query with these employees to see if they are um, still employed with the company because it's just too many people that are coming back with missing missing data so i just want to find out if that's the reason why if so then that makes sense so i'm gonna write this query run this in toad to see if these people are still here if not we can bypass them if they are still employed then i need to reach out to the person who owns this file to have them look into seeing what's going on here but if you're not I'm familiar with like Teradata or you're you're wanting to learn how to write like SQL um, SQL is or is SQL I call it SQL some people also refer to it as SQL which is a structured query language so it's pretty much a programming language where you are asking the database to bring you back some information and the language like it's just a set of instructions that you're writing down to ask the database to bring you back specific information. So I would liken it to, let's say you want to, let's say you want to bake a cake and you have a list of ingredients that you need to make this cake. Let's say you need eggs and sugar, vanilla extract or baking powder, flour. You have all these ingredients and you need to get that in order to get all these different ingredients together in order to make your cake. So let's say you're going to go to Publix to get, which is a grocery store here in the South. But let's say you want to go to Publix and get your um, list of ingredients so that you can make your cake. So the database where this information is housed would be equivalent to the actual grocery store. So Publix and each database has different tables or views that have this information. So let's say, for example, when you get to the grocery store, there's different aisles, you know, where they have different products down the aisles. So the aisles would be equivalent to a table. And each aisle or table has specific information or products that you need. So you may have to query different tables to get all your information and data together for what you need. So you may need to go down aisle one to get your eggs and you may need to go down aisle nine to get like your flour. So that's pretty much how how um, we query the databases. We're querying different tables or views because all the information isn't housed within one database, within one table, within one view. You may have to pull information from one table here and join it to another table here in order to get everything together in your one query that you need. So I know that's probably like a very <laughs> simple and very dumbed down version of what the query is like, but that's kind of what it's like in my mind. It's like a grocery store is the database. The aisles are the tables that house all the information and data that you need. And you just have to pull it together in order to get everything together to bake your cake pretty much or to query the database. Um, but also there's going to be situations where let's say, you know, Kroger has this specific type of butter you need for your cake. It's not at Publix. So now you got to go to another grocery store. So for us, you may need to go into another database as well to query this information and bring it together. I know there's been times where we have certain tables that are only in Microsoft SQL Server. It's not in Teradata. So I can't get that data from Teradata. I have to go in Microsoft SQL Server because that's where that database is housed. So. And then I have to use like a, a tool, like 
tableau to bring that information together. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I don't know, <laughs> but hopefully that made sense to you guys a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna write this query, find out if these employees are still with the company, and then I have my first meeting of the day after that. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. <laughs> on was about the file so so this is the Excel file you sent right so I formatted it so that the columns match what I saw in the Google sheet and when I look on this file I see it has data going back to January of 2022 is what I was saying can I take all this data and paste it over what's in here because it looks like this has data going back to January 2022. So if I replace it, it's the same data or are you saying it's not? Okay, you guys, so it is time for lunch. So I'm going to take my lunch break and I will probably like check in again later after lunch. Um, I did end up having two meetings. So those went okay. I got some things updated, but yeah, I'll check in with you guys after my lunch. Okay, so lunch is over and I'm back to my audit, but I'm about to pause working on this audit and pull some data or results for um, I mentioned earlier like we have some initiatives that's going on for the beginning of the year to have a strong for, well, not fourth quarter first quarter so I want to check and see how we're performing with some of these things so far um, I'm trying to figure out like how can I best explain this so let me give you an example so let's say that I work for Netflix and I think Netflix they just let me look it up okay so let's say I work for Netflix and Netflix they recently just launched a um, a new plan that has ads like an ad supported plan so now they have four plans they have a basic plan with ads for $6.99 a month they have their basic plan for $9.99 standard for $15.49 or a premium plan for $19.99 so with Netflix launching this new plan something that like their data analysts would probably look into is to see how that plan is performing compared to the other three plans that they offered previously so is it attracting new customers if so, where are these customers coming from? Like in certain states or countries, they'd want to know that um, they can compare that to um, like if they gather data on like their customer's age, that kind of thing. Um, they can see like what areas of the country or of the world um, that's taking this plan. And then another thing that they would want to do um, an analysis on is to see like, hey, do we have customers on like our higher tiered plans, like our premium plans from the ones that's $19.99 and $15.49? Are they dropping down to this new lower plan? And if so, why? So those are some of the analytics that I would want to know, like if I worked at Netflix, what is going on with this plan? So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. When I look at these results, I want to do a comparison to other services that we offer and see how are we performing? Do we have customers on one service going to another service that's less expensive? Because 
when you think about it, like if I have this $19.99 premium plan at Netflix and I go to the plan that's six ninety nine, dollars that is a revenue decrease for the company, which they don't want to happen. And if they have a lot of their existing customers going to that plan, that's going to result in um, revenue loss for them. So I'm sure that's something that their data analytics team or data scientists, whoever, I'm sure that's something that they are monitoring and keeping an eye on. So that's something similar to what I'm going to be doing here. And you guys, I just wanna add on to that. When you are doing any type of data analytics, you want to know the who, what, when, where, and why. You wanna know who is doing something, when they're doing it, why they're doing it. You gotta ask all those questions when you're doing data analytics, in my opinion because that can be helpful to when you need to present this information back, okay? So we have this customer segment. We're seeing a lot of customers that are on our premium plan that are actually going down to this new $6.99 basic plan. We reviewed some of the feedback that we have on social media or in customer service contacts, and it's price and affordability. So then you can come up like with a strategy and a plan as to how you're going to combat that. So. Netflix may want to offer a promo to these customers and say, hey, you know what? We, If you go back to this premium plan, we'll give it to you. Um, if you go back to your $19.99 plan, we'll give it to you for $15.99 for three months. You know, We'll offer you a little bit of discount on the plan, but you're still gonna be paying more than the $6.99. So those are just some things that like, if you're looking to go into data analytics that you need to think about, like, okay, I see these people are doing this. Why are they doing this? When are they doing this? How are they doing this? So yeah, just wanted to add that in to help. I hope that helped. Okay. Hey okay, guys, I just wanted to come on and end this day in my life as a data analyst. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're not ask any questions that you may have about being a data analyst that I could possibly do a future video on, comment those down below, and I will see you in my next one.